We know, in an atom, the total number of electrons or negative charge equals the total number of protons or positive charge. And therefore, atoms are electrically neutral or uncharged. If an atom loses or gains electrons, it will become a positively or negatively charged particle. Now the particle is called as an ion. In this case, if the ion has more protons than electrons, the ion is called as cation. Here, at the beginning, number of protons equal to number of electrons. After leaving an electron, number of protons excess than electron. So, this is cation. For an example, let's say, an aluminium atom, leaves three electrons. So, the aluminium, with left three electron, is a cation, aluminium 3 plus. Similarly, if the ion has more electrons, than protons, the ion is called as anion. Here, at the beginning, number of protons equal to number of electrons. After receiving an electron, number of electron excess than proton. So, this is anion. For an example, let's say, an oxygen atom gets two electrons. Now the oxygen after receiving the two electron is an anion, oxygen 2 minus. Cations are named, using the element name, plus ion, to indicate it is charged. Anions are named, by changing the element name, ending to, id, plus, ion. For an example, an aluminium ion is formed, when neutral aluminium loses electrons. So, aluminium ion is cation. Then it will be named, aluminium, plus, ion. Let's see one more example, an oxide ion is formed, when neutral oxygen gains electrons. So, it is anion. Then it will be named as ox plus id plus ion. Cation is usually metal. Similarly, anion is usually non metal. Until now, we have known what is ion, cation, and anion. Okay, now let's go to find out how to identify which atom can become cation and which atom can become anion as well as, how many electrons can be lost and gained. Ions are formed when an atom loses or gains electrons. These electrons are usually lost from valence shell and gained to their valence shell. Therefore, electron configuration of an atom is required to identify the number of electrons in their valence shell. For an example, the electron configuration for aluminium shows that there are totally 13 electrons and it has three valence electrons in the third energy level. The two electrons are in s orbital and one is in p orbital. So, it can lose three electrons. When aluminium loses the three valence electron, forming the cation aluminium 3 plus. Similarly, the electron configuration for oxygen shows that there are totally eight electrons and it need two valence electrons to complete its the second energy level. The two electrons are required to p orbital. So, it can gain two electrons. When oxygen gains the two valence electron, forming the anion oxygen 2 minus. I think now you will have understood about ion. Okay, let's see in next.